I know people probably don't come very often to talk to you, but I want to talk to you. If there's something near that bed or on the bed, can you make that thing on top go off again? That was pretty cool. My name is Angelo. I am a uh, paranormal investigator and I wish to communicate with you. Whoa, why is it so cold right here? I swear I saw something move in this room. What the hell was that? Oh, I think it was this one. Yes, over here. Oh my god. No way. Name. Yes, you've been giving me a lot. What the hell? Why am I looking below? gentlemen welcome back to a brand new adventure so we are out here in the great white north uh, pretty far northern Ontario we have not made it to our final destination yet but we are at kind of like just past halfway and we've made it here to what's known as the Red Rock Inn. This one came highly recommended by a friend of mine uh, due to its quirkiness it's I don't know it's just different and it's also haunted so I may actually be one of the very first paranormal investigators to actually film this place not to take credit for anything but I did arrive here late last night to be honest with you I was gonna film right away but I was just really really tired I had a long drive I've been uh, on the road for a couple of days now filming some stuff and uh, yeah but we are here now there is a lot of history to this place, which is crazy. This place was built back in the late 1930s. It was many, many different things. Uh, apparently there was either a POW camp around here or this was used as part of it. I'm not really 100% sure. Uh, there used to be a paper mill. I don't know if the ruins are still around here, but they were the ones who actually built this place. It used to be a bar, a library. Uh, many many other things and people have died in here so we are gonna get to investigating but this place is super quirky and uh, it's just charming it's got this spectacular charm to it we're right on Lake Superior the surrounding area is beautiful it's so quiet uh, especially because it's I believe Sunday is it Sunday I don't even know if it's Sunday it is Sunday <laughs> so yeah we're gonna get to exploring the place first um, they've done a lot of renovations since the owner bought it 10 years ago they have fixed up the entire second floor and the first floor uh, apparently the basement used to be where the bar area is there's a bunch of really really cool stuff in here the third floor is at the moment unfinished but apparently it's really creepy so we're gonna get to explore that too smash the like button and let's get this adventure started all right guys I'm gonna switch my microphone in a second but here's the uh front it's pretty spectacular because of just where this where we're situated right now like that's lake superior absolutely glorious there's not much out here small little tiny towns as we go further and further north towards pickle lake but uh yeah let's head on inside and get to exploring this place so i'm gonna make my way up to the second floor there's a lot of really cool pictures everywhere. The architecture in this place is outstanding. Honestly, for a building that's kind of out in the middle of uh, nowhere, <laughs> realistically, it's uh, very beautiful. We got this random sunroom here. Someone was obviously playing some chess. So this is what I'm talking about with all these really cool antiques. I am going to get to the first floor, but I've decided to start out here on the second floor. This is actually where my room is. And the reason why is because there is some radio playing downstairs, and, and it has a password because it's like on a tablet, and I do not know how to turn it off, so <laughs> we're going to wait to film that area. Here are some of the rooms.
So every room appears to be pretty unique. Here's a washroom. <laughs> it literally almost just tripped. Look at the old sinks. Wow. <laughs> I love the old school vibe. So this is just one wing. I'm not gonna go into every room, but if there is one that catches my eye, then we will go into it. I'll show you guys my room at some point, but... What was that? Hello? I thought I heard something move in here. So, this place is interesting because, so we have one employee, his name is Ron. He was the first one that I met. He actually checked me in last night. He said he's been here about nine, 10 years, give or take. Hasn't really experienced anything, but there was another lady who actually showed me a video and I'll show you exactly what she's talking about. But there was this picture literally just last week that apparently was rocking back and forth. I do have a, a video clip of it. I'm trying to get the better version of it because the one that they sent me is a little bit pixelated. Um, but if I can get my hands on the better copy, that's what I'll show you. But either way, we'll, we will show it to you because you can see it evidently in the video. The other thing to note is that as I've been here, I've been kind of like hearing random things. As I was in my room, I heard someone cough. I was literally sitting down on the bed, putting my socks on, and all of a sudden I heard somebody cough. It sounded like it was in the room next to me, but the whole hotel is empty apart from the owners and the people who are on the other side in their apartment. Now, I don't think it would have been possible for me to hear the owners from my room, but I clearly and distinctively heard a cough, tried to recreate the sound by sitting on the bed because I'm like, maybe that's what it was, but that's not what it was. The other thing was last night as I was, as I was walking to my room, I heard, I swear to God, I heard, we're here, like it was quiet, but I could hear it. So I do think this place is 100% haunted and we're gonna prove that. And it's cool because this is kind of like a little unknown spot. A lot of people have not been here. Um, if you guys wanna check it out, definitely go and book the place, stay the night, stay two nights. This place is marvelous. So the apartment is down that way. Um, obviously we're not gonna go in there because people live in there, but this is the other wing. And then when you go down here, there's even more rooms. The place is very big. Here's one room as an example. So far, I think my room is the best. Oh, there's a bunch of school buses back there. I didn't even realize that. Huh, okay. <laughs> I guess they just parked the school buses there. Got a old school vending machine that apparently is not in use, which is fine because I don't drink uh, pop anyways. Got two beds in that room, housekeeping, another room over here. So this is kind of where it sounded like I heard the cough from. Oh, this room's pretty big. So this room's kind of like mine. The layout is very different, but this room is kind of like the one that I'm staying in. Got two beds and a fireplace, which is awesome because it does get very cold here at night. So you're gonna want that heat. Let's check out this last room over here because I haven't looked in here either. Very cool. All right, so I'm gonna head on up to the third floor because apparently that area is very creepy looking. <laughs> this one is actually my room. I'll show you guys that later on. Um, but yeah, let's head on up there first. Okay, starting to get the layout of this place now. I love these windows, check that out. That is so cool. <laughs> Lots of art pieces. Here we go. 
Oh, there is rooms up here. I think there's some areas that are not finished yet, but... One wing down that way. Oh man, you can get lost up here easily. That looks like a washroom slash housekeeping maybe, I don't know. Whoa. Okay. It's like a little hangout room. Coffee maker, couch. Hearing something. It's probably just a radiator though. Alrighty. It is definitely creepy up here. <laughs> These floors, they creak a lot. Old wooden floors. Gotta love it. Okay, let's see what's down this wing. So I could see what they mean by it still needing some work. It uh, doesn't seem too fully furnished as of yet, but I think they're getting there. The vibe up here is different. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't feel bad, but it feels kind of heavy. Especially this room, I don't know what it is. What room is this? 40. I don't know, I feel different in this room. Oh, there's no, is there no bathroom up here? Oh yeah, I noticed that these rooms do not have their own, uh, their own bathrooms. What the heck? <laughs> Where does this go? Got a little crawl space over here. That's creepy. It's also quite hot up here, and I'm wearing a sweater, which I should have taken off. Another creepy crawl space, it looks like. Another room. What was that? Sounded like a door creaked or something. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty, well, let's go down to the other end and uh, see what's over there. So I don't think I went down this way at all. There's another stairwell down here. Oh, what the heck? There's a whole other room back here. Whoa, <laughs> this is cool, man. Whoa, there's four beds in this room. Cool, you could have a party up here. See, this is what I mean. Like, this place is so unique. I've never seen anything like this before. Got a bunch of DVDs there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you could literally uh, have an entire family up here. Got your own mini fridge, microwave. Very old bathroom. Um, okay, do we dare go down this staircase and just see what's here? I'm curious where this might lead. Second floor. Oh, I think this leads to the kitchen. Yep, we are now on the first floor. Okay. That 
it looks like it goes down to the B strip. There we go, we got the uh, kitchen. Nice. And then this leads out to the dining area, which we will get to just as soon as I'm able to turn that music off. <laughs> okay, it is time to go and check out this basement. Look at all this uh, artwork everywhere. Little flowers. So apparently there's a lot of artifacts down here. Walk back in time. So those would be, I'm assuming, like a recreation of the Northern Lights, which is really cool because you can actually see them from here on a clear night. Oh, wow. What the heck? <laughs> it's like every wall is just painted with something. Whoa, this is so cool. Old dart machine. Check that out. I don't see that every day. Whoa, this is cool. I'm going to be honest, I did not expect this. It's an old uh, cigarette machine. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's crazy. So back in the day, look at that, $2. Used to pop some coins in there, press the button, and get a pack of smokes. Another one here. Wow. So apparently a lot of these, these pool tables, um, these are actually original. They were already here when they moved in. Got the hard hats here. So like I said, this place was popular for, uh, there used to be a mill here. I don't know what happened with the mill, but a giant fish. Wow. What a cool place. <laughs> Super unique. Got another fireplace down here. Another dart board. We got darts. We do. I should definitely come play some darts later. That'd be fun. All right, what else do we got down here? Got the washroom. What's back here? Oh wow, there's like a whole dining area. Oh, there's a bunch of like beds over here. What the heck? It's kind of creepy down here, but also kind of cool at the same time. I wonder if they were just like using this area just for storage. No, there's like a bunch of plants and stuff. They're all real. Some of them are withered. Look at all the art though. Accidentally hit that. All right. So uh, yeah, this place is uh, quite impressive. Very cool. I like it. I don't understand this area. It's, uh, I don't know, it just, is it just like storage? <laughs> or do people actually sleep down here? I'm very confused. <laughs> it just seems so out of place. Okay. Oh, we got a cross over there. All right. Move along and uh, probably film the first floor. All right, guys, now we are on the main floor. 
Lots of really cool antiques. Lots of books. I love all these old cameras. Those are really neat. Old sewing tables. This is cool. You don't see that very often. And in here, this room is pretty incredible. I love the old fireplace, like what we saw down in the basement. The woodwork in here is just incredible. Look at all that. Kind of almost reminds me of uh, the Wilson Castle. <laughs> A lot of art. I love these. Those are probably from China. That's cool. I love the, the roulette here. <laughs> okay, that's just creepy. Why is that there? <laughs> okay, okay, you can stop now. Thank you. <laughs> That was entertaining for about five seconds. <laughs> All right, then we come into the main hall. This area is really nice too. So this is where everybody comes and hangs out. Uh, let me see if I can go through here. I can. And something kind of crazy happened in here just last week. But look at this. Look at all the friggin' incredible woodwork. It's amazing. So the owner, Don, was telling me a bunch of stories about uh, Neil Young, who came through here on his Hearst. Hearst? Is it Hearst or Hearst? I'm not really sure, but... Yeah, that's Neil Young. <laughs> Very famous. Don, the owner, was also telling me about the one time he sold Willie Nelson a yacht. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. And he didn't even realize who he was. Oh wow, old accordion. That's cool. My grandfather used to play the accordion apparently way back when. Old record player. This place is just so nostalgic. Totally stuck in time. And we got all these beautiful paintings over here. Pieces of art that were all done by the owner's mom. And there's something interesting about the middle one here. So this middle one, apparently, just last week, um, I've been trying to figure out how this could have happened, but apparently there's a kind of a crazy story. So everybody was in this room, the band was playing, um, and this somehow started doing that on its own. There's even a video of it happening, and I don't think anybody recalls ever hitting it, so I'm trying to figure out exactly how that happened. There's nothing on this back side of this wall show you guys in a second but yeah we'll see maybe if we can uh, recreate something make that happen again yeah so basically all that's back here is like a little the entrance to the kitchen essentially so there's clearly nothing on this back wall that could have made that happen um, What's interesting is that, so those paintings are done by the owner's mom, Dawn, um, who I imagine has probably passed on. Dawn himself, his wife, she's very, very sick. Um, she's critically ill at this point, and uh, he brought her in here in a wheelchair, and he was dancing with her, like pushing the wheelchair sort of thing, when all of a sudden somebody noticed that happening. Now, nobody really knows how that could have possibly happened, for no, you know, it's just not something that they could really explain. They just all thought it was very bizarre. Um, but I guess that's enough proof so far that there's definitely some sort of paranormal evidence going on in this place. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go around the town. I'll probably leave that in a separate video on the vlog. Um, I wanna go down to the marina, look at Lake Superior, stuff like that. So you'll see all that in a separate video. And then I think 
afterwards, I'm probably gonna go and check out this ghost town if I'm able to do it. What's going on? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very cool. So Don just turned on the lights here. <laughs> this is where the uh, the main stage here at the Red Rock Inn. Last night we had the inmates playing, which is awesome. They're actually really good. Alright guys, uh, so we are back at the Red Rock Inn. It is now almost 12 o'clock. It's actually 12.04. Didn't even realize that, but 12.04 and we are just starting to get ghost hunting. I had a crazy day going to an abandoned ghost town called Jackfish. It was just one hell of an adventure. I don't know where you guys are going to see that, if it's going to be before this video, after that video, main channel, vlog channel, I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you guys know when. Apart from that, um, over the last two days, two nights I guess you can say, um, so for one I've experienced a couple things myself. Uh, a couple of those things being this morning, I was here, just, just taking a shower, I was literally getting ready to go out, putting my socks on, and I heard somebody cough. Now. There are no guests in the hotel. There was no guests last night. And again, tonight I am the only guest. The owner and his wife are downstairs. Um, unfortunately, she is very, very ill. And uh, they're staying in the apartment, not in the apartment, but like one of the other rooms below me, but like all the way off to the corner. So it definitely wasn't them. And there is another family. They do work in the hotel. They live on in an apartment off to the side. So also it wasn't them. Unexplainable. The other thing is that last night I was walking through this hallway on this floor and I heard very faintly, we're over here. And again, cannot explain it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually head back up to the creepy third floor. By the way, this is my room. I know it's a bit of a mess right now. Um, I guess it's kind of like the base of operations, <laughs> but I have like all this equipment and it's just crazy. Like when we do these crazy road trips, I have to bring so many things with me because um, I don't quite know what I'm gonna use, may not use all of it, but whatever. So nonetheless, as I explained, um, we are gonna go up to the third floor first because I find that the creepiest, it just gives off one hell of a vibe and I'm gonna do a couple things up there and just kind of see what happens. There's been a lot of stories that have been coming up. The lady who actually works here, um, she was explaining that she was with her daughter one day and they were just having a conversation in the hallway, like at kind of opposite ends. I'll show you guys where that happened exactly. When all of a sudden a door unexplainably slammed shut right in between them and they were looking, couldn't figure out how the heck it happened. She was showing me the exact door and I'm like, okay, that that's not possible. That door does not move. Um, but yeah, a couple other little things that we'll go through as we uh, go throughout the inn. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this one because this is like, honestly, probably one of my favorite places. Top of the list, for sure. I've been to a lot of haunted places, a lot of really cool, quirky uh, kind of hotels and stuff like that. And honestly, the environment here is amazing. If you have a chance to come out here to Red Rock, I highly recommend this place. Tell them Angelo sent you. They'll know exactly who, you, who you're talking about, but uh, totally worth the trip. Um, all right, let's get uh, on with this investigation. First, an espresso. Okay, so I was just standing here. I'm up on the third floor waiting <laughs> for anything to happen. Nothing so far. All of a sudden, that cap ball, there was a cap ball literally right there on the bed. And it just went off. Okay. This room is creepy. I don't know what it is. It's very... How was that? Okay, anyway. <laughs> it's very strange because um, the entire like upper floors are really hot. Oh, there it is again. Look at that. Alright, we might have something here. 
Can you make that? Well, you can't make it stop because it's a cat ball. <laughs> so I do have a couple uh, REM pods kind of everywhere. Um, just kind of roam around for now. Use the spirit talker. I wonder if it'll go off again. If there's something near that bed or on the bed, can you make that thing on top go off again? That was pretty cool. So from what I know, I believe um, they were telling me that teachers lived up here for almost 20 years. Apparently one of them, um, I don't know if it was specifically this room. I feel like it was this room because I believe they said it was off to this side. Um, but what they did mention was that one of them actually had a heart attack. I don't know her name per se, but um, it is historically recorded that that did happen. People have passed away in this building. Many, many people. I mean, the building's very old, so... All right, let's go roam around for a bit. Clearly, we may have something there. Actually, you know what? Let me get the spirit talker going, and uh, we can ask some questions in here. I think that might be pretty cool. I'm gonna go oh, there. It is again. Okay, we might have something here. Oh, I'm gonna sit down in the nice cozy. Uh... Oh, apparently this is a rocking chair. Didn't know that. <laughs> cool. Um, let's get the spirit talker going here. If you are on that bed, can you make that thing go off again? Were you one of the teachers here? What the heck? What was that noise? I heard something. It kind of sounded almost like it was downstairs. Just waiting to see if I hear it again. Okay, so I do have the spirit talker running. Deserve. What? Deserve? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Does somebody deserve something? So I did manage to close most of the lights. Only issue is those are emergency lights and I can't turn them off. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we're just gonna have to deal with it. But I turned majority of the lights off up here and holy crap, is it ever creepy. Can I ask who I'm communicating with right now? Does somebody deserve something? way creepier at night up here than during the day. So I have these uh, cool device. Kill she killed me? What? Who is she? Holy creaky floors. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the REM pod for a second. My name is Angelo. I am a uh, paranormal investigator and I wish to communicate with you. Whoa, why is it so cold right here? Whew, it's like I walked right into a cold spot. Man, there's like trickling water in there. So you might not be too familiar with this. This thing here with the red light. Um, it's a new piece of technology. It's called a REM pod. If you make it, if you go near it, break the frequency, just go near the antenna just like that, it'll go off and tell me that you're here. Can you do that for me? Arrest. Arrest. Oh. 
Hang on a second. You said arrest. Are you talking about, were you arrested by the police? Why is it so cold in this one spot? Or did you have a cardiac arrest? I just saw something. I don't know if that was just the shadow from moving the camera, but I swear I saw something move in this room. This looks kind of just like a lounge. Um, not quite sure what it was used as before. Once again, I know you might be new to this because I don't think too many people have investigated here, apart from uh, a new friend of mine, Dean. Group. You were arrested in a group? What the f was that? What the hell was that? Okay, I think that was up in the attic. Rats? <laughs> that freaked me out, holy shit. I don't know, was that above us? I don't know, could it just been like a rat or something? Okay. Something's moving around. Possibly raccoons. <laughs> I don't know, but it's kind of freaking me out. What's making those noises? of the word Viking is supposed to be. Sounds like keys. Wait, was this the room that I started in? I think it was. I'm getting kind of confused up here. Evelyn, did you just move something? Sounded like a door. Okay, that's kind of creepy because there's like a door behind a door. Prepare. For what? That's creepy. <laughs> so we definitely heard something. Uh, so what I heard was what sounded like keys. Wait. That's the freaking room key. Okay. <laughs> uh, was something in here just playing with my key for my room? Whoa. That's creepy as shit. Flash. Flash. I don't know what you mean by that. Do you want me to take a picture? 
You know, for some reason I did not process that there was like another bedroom in this one single room. Okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere. I'm hearing strange noises. It sounded like a door. I cannot figure out for the life of me which one that would have been. And then we're also hearing something up there, but I feel like it's probably an animal. It probably heard me and then just got scared. We haven't been down here yet, I don't think. Let's go down this way. There was one room in particular that I just felt a very strong vibe in. I think it was down this way. Oh, this is cursed land. Okay, I just heard something down there. What the hell was that? It was like a, almost like a hiss. <laughs> Maybe it was that animal? Is there something down there? Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where this room was. Oh, I think it was this one. Yes, over here. Oh my god. No way. Wow. For some reason, something was drawing me to this room. And then we get here and it says yes over here. Also, my camera just picked up on a person over here. Is there somebody sitting in this chair? why I like doing this because I don't know it's just fun I'm fascinated by getting paranormal evidence is there somebody in this room with me make uh, give me a sign please thank you for respect well you're welcome I do try to respect all the spirits everywhere I go even the bad ones sometimes can you tell me your name? Watched. Oh man, watched. Are you watching me? Is that what's happening right now? Okay. I feel kind of strange in this room. Stone. Stone. Yes, there's a lot of stones and rocks in this area. That's kind of why it's called Red Rock. I don't know if it's just this room in particular. It's definitely very hot in here. Like I'm actually starting to sweat, but that's just because every room in here is generally hot. I don't know if like the uh, radiator's on, but what I'm kind of feeling is slightly like I'm being drained, but more so um, to the point of, hmm, how do I describe it? Being unable to focus. For like a second there, I was just like zoning out for no reason. And I'm really not that tired. I slept good last night. The beds are comfy here. <laughs> Can you give me your name, please? I know people probably don't come very often to talk to you, but I want to talk to you. Yes, the building is very old. It makes a lot of noises, but that sounded like a footstep. Is there somebody out in the hallway? Communicate. Communicate. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Let me grab this. 
so the great thing here is that the floors are very creaky. So if something moves, you'll generally hear it. Is there something down this hallway? So if you guys uh, hear or see anything that I don't notice, please feel free to comment it down the, in the comment section below so I can check it out. There's a reason that I want you guys to do that. Not only because sometimes I don't even notice certain things, but there's something that I want to kind of I kind of want to start doing. Yes, there are records downstairs. Do you like music? We have spoke before. What? Okay, that might not be good. <laughs> uh, is there something following me? Is that why how we've spoken before? Dude, why is it so cold in this one room? Like, I'm literally sweating in the other rooms, and then I come in here and it's like... Like freaking winter time in here. What do you mean by we've spoken before? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, sit down for a second. Oh. So one thing to point out, um, I feel like something is still lingering. Something may have attached itself. I know I've mentioned this a long time ago. Um, yes, I'm listening. Okay. And I feel kind of like as if maybe it might be something may have attached to both Jazz and I. Because a lot of times we get some kind of similar stuff. Oddly enough, like when we compare what we've filmed over the last little while, a lot of the times we get that. I don't know where this attachment came from. Um, what the f was that? That was loud as shit. Something there? Mum, what? Okay. I'm gonna go actually take a look. Help me. Help you with what? I visit. I visit. You're visiting the inn? I'm gonna go take a look downstairs. That's there is an afterlife. Possibly came from. I just want to see, make sure nobody's like moving around down there. Tranquility. Whatever that was. Yeah. What the heck? The words are flying now. I come down to the second floor and all of a sudden the words are just flying. I haven't turned any of the lights off down here just yet. And there is a reason why, but uh, I'll probably come and investigate here soon as well. I swear I just heard somebody say hello. Hello? Okay, so this is more or less the hallway that I heard someone speaking. Patricia. About Patricia. All right, Patricia, feel free to uh, show Leave me where place. you are. Why? Do you not like me being here? So this morning when I 
where? That's really weird that it said where. Uh, this morning, it sounded like somebody coughed, and it would have probably come from... What the f*** was that? Hey. Something just hissed in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so whoever coughed, it would have been like maybe one of these rooms, I imagine. Um, and so yesterday, so my room is right over there. So yesterday, I missed my room several times, but at one point, my ashes. I don't know. Um, but I came through here. And then realized that this was not my room. Where are you staying? I am. I'm staying tonight. One more night and then I leave in the morning. Kid. So many words all of a sudden. What the heck is going on here? This normally doesn't go this fast. Uh, anyways, um, I'm trying to tell this story. Um, so Jessica. As I, as I turned around and went back this way, I heard, we are over here. It was very faint, but I heard it. Okay, well that's fantastic. Edith. Damn, so many names. And I'm noticing that they're all female. That's wild. There was, there was a lot of teachers here. I don't know exactly how many would have passed away in this building, but even if they passed away later, they could have come back. The other interesting thing is, right here, I cannot figure out why, Edward. it smells really good. <laughs> Every time I pass by here, there's another female name. Oh, we got one male name, Edward. Okay. I'm going to go back up to the third floor. I want to see if this thing slows down up there. Because then maybe we'll Listen just... What am I listening for? What is that? My lungs. <gasps> Dude. It sounded like, almost like a child. And then it said, listen to this, and then it said, my lungs? Okay. Okay, let's go back upstairs for a minute. Oh, we're actually getting some good stuff. Okay, let's see if this thing gives us a similar result where it starts going crazy. Name. Name. Yes, you've been giving me a lot the hell? Why am I looking below? Am I supposed to see something? Okay, I don't know. The attic. <gasps> oh my god, the attic. There is the coldest air coming right by me, dude. The hairs on my arm are quite literally standing up. Oh, man. Oh. 16. Holy crap. It's still coming. I don't know what's going on up here. Yeah, that is wow. How many spirits are in this hotel? Or in this building?
I'm very shy. Well, you don't need to be shy with me. I don't mean you any harm. I just want to communicate. Is that the wind or is that the <laughs> fridge? <laughs> Holy. Okay. All right. Well, this has been awesome so far. Thank you so much for communicating with me. You've uh, been giving me a lot pretty quick, actually. Okay, that's creepy. Enough of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to take a quick little break and uh, probably go to another area. Maybe the basement. I really want to try the basement. I was outside for a second, went for a breath of fresh air. I heard like a loud crash. Okay, that was just the fridge. Cannot figure out for the life of me where it would have come from. Um, I am probably going to move on to the basement, but I'm going to search around first and just see if I can figure out what have <laughs> maybe made that noise. I don't even know if it came from inside the building or from like up the road or something, but it was pretty loud and it kind of sounded like it was inside the building. Let's take a look for a second. came up the stairs, I didn't see anything particularly out of place. Maybe something down this way? Oh. Crashing into the freaking walls apparently. I don't know, it was really loud though. I don't know, it doesn't seem like anything's really out of place. Um, so, one thing I wanted to start kind of doing is pot potentially, potentially, I can't speak today. Potentially, um, what I'm thinking of, and you guys tell me if you want me to do this, is I kind of want to review these videos over, but using your timestamps, your comments of what you guys catch in these videos. You guys comment all the time. So, I really want to do this with you guys. It's like kind of working together, almost like a team. I'll do it on the vlog channel and uh, we'll basically sit there, review my videos, and uh, we'll go through the timestamps of what you guys catch that I managed to miss, etc, etc, and just kind of review, see what, you know, the possibilities of um, these happenings and these haunted locations that we constantly do. I think it would be a lot of fun, so let me know what you think. What the hell? What the heck was that? I hope the camera picked that up. It sounded like something was just running. Was that upstairs? Okay, so I'm in the basement now. There was no way that was Don, the owner. Whatever that was moved fast. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no one up here. I also want to stay away from that music, which I don't know how to turn off. <laughs> Again. And I'm not going to wake anybody up just to do that. I should have probably asked earlier, but... Okay, so... Um, yeah, definitely heard that. I don't know if, again, possibly animals. But uh, also, I couldn't figure out how to turn this light off and, like, a couple other minimal lights. But is what it is. We are in the basement now. Um, I've decided to set up a couple of things. I do have to get up really early, so um, I only have a little bit more time to really continue to investigate. So let's hope we actually do get something. I'm gonna pull up a chair. I want to try the spirit box, but I think I'll save that for like 
the second floor. I'll go up there and see if we can communicate with anybody. For now, we'll try the Spirit Talker. I do have a REM pod set up on that side, and uh, the music box is on that side. So down here, this is like a congregation area. This building was used for a lot of things. There was even like a dentist at one point, a doctor, um, all sorts of different things. So there was a lot of people who came in and out over the years. It was kind of like- Inject. Inject. As soon as I mentioned doctor. Did I just hear a cat? There's no cats in this building. What the f I'm still hearing something. Is it a cat or like... Sounds like it's coming from that direction. Breaking wheel. Oh my god, what the hell? Breaking wheel. What does that even mean? I definitely hear something though. What is that? Okay, I can subtly hear the music from upstairs. Maybe that's what that was? I swear I heard a cat though. <laughs> That's so strange. Uh, does anybody want to come and play pool down here? I know a lot of people used to hang out down here. Is there anybody from from a time when this was like a bar? Also, interestingly enough, there was also a library down here. I believe it was probably on that side. So simultaneously when you had a bar and all of, all of this going on, there was also a quiet area, being a library. Anybody at all? <laughs> this thing is cool too. There's a, I didn't really, bad energy. bad energy. Why is there bad energy? So I didn't really pay much mind to this earlier, but I believe it was an old hair washing station. I've only ever seen this once before. I wonder if that's original. I should ask uh, Dawn. We also have a men's bathroom back here. Strangely enough, I did see something earlier uh, in the men's restroom upstairs. Uh, <laughs> so I went in there, because obviously I had to take a pee. I think that was the spirit talker. So I went in there, because obviously I had to take a pee, and uh, walked in, and I swear at the corner of my eye, it looked like the stall door was slowly moving. Now, obviously I wasn't filming yet at that point. We were just kind of hanging out. I was talking to some of the locals, getting some information about uh, the travels that we are about to embark on. Okay, we're getting a bunch of stuff on there. I don't know what that said. Okay, got a few words here. We got victim, Sid, and Evelyn. Uh, all right. Well, if we got a Sid over here, why don't you make yourself known, Sid? Like I've said before, upstairs, I'm what's known as a paranormal investigator. I come to haunted locations to communicate with people of the past. If you're aware that you are from the past, that is.
Let's just say great. I should like keep that on me. Yeah, it said great. Okay, well that was like a direct response. All right, well I'm uh, happy to introduce myself to you. My name is Angelo, it is the year 2024, believe it or not, almost February. Here's something, but it could just be like a furnace. But yeah, I'm here uh, from the future. <laughs> Here to communicate with you. Maybe if you want a drink, I've got a great selection over there. Looks like there's quite a bit of vodka. What do they got up here? <laughs> I'm just curious now. Oh, look at this stein. That is so cool. Let's see what's up here. And also this dripping is making me nervous. There we go. Oh, we got lots of vodka bottles. Is there actually vodka in them? No, they're empty. I think these are just uh, collected just for show at the moment. What did that say? Creepy. All right, what, what's so creepy? You know what, I'm gonna walk over to the back room. Surgery. Surgery? Did you have surgery? Did they do surgeries? Here? What the heck? Lily. They... Lily. We got surgery here and Lily. Did you have surgery in here, Lily? Oh, look at this old jukebox. Actually, it's a radio. Wow, that thing is... Really old. I died suddenly. Oh my god. Lily, I'm sorry to hear that you died suddenly. Wow. Still hearing a cat. Now it sounds like it's on that side. What the hell was that? Your. Your. I heard something. I don't know what that was. Okay. Yes, over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that just creeped me out a little bit. Uh, Archangel. Archangel. Okay, so clearly you can see me. I've been here 1,000 years. Whoa. I think my light is suddenly dying. Grab my flashlight just in case we need it. Actually, we will need it because i got to brighten up this room a little. It's creepy how it literally said yes over here as I started moving over here. That is the second time in this building that that's happened. So whatever is here is 100% intelligent. They know what's going on. Are you human? I know you said Archangel, but there must be humans here as well. Can you confirm that? Can you see me? Love the setup over here. <laughs> it's amazing. I've been here for 1,000 years. Were there natives here before? I'm going to assume that there were probably natives in this area a long time ago. Okay, it's just like a fridge or something that just turned on. Anything else to say? You've suddenly gone quiet. Huh. 
Okay. Natalie. Natalie. Can you give me one other name or answer any of my other questions? Otherwise, I'm going to probably move on. You won't have anybody to talk to once I'm gone. Tell me your story. Okay. Well, um, I think I'm going to probably get a move on from down here. I just want to kind of, kind of briefly see if there was anything down here. It seemed like the upper floors were significantly more active. It does seem like there is something responding down here. Heard like maybe one to two noises. I heard what sounded like a cat. Unless there's like a lynx or something outside, I have no idea. Um, that does happen. They have those in this area. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to head up to the second floor and uh, just do a little bit more there and then obviously I gotta get to bed because tomorrow we have a long drive. Okay, we are on floor number two now. Um, this is pretty much where I'm gonna end this off because it's getting pretty late. Like I said, I got about an eight and a half hour drive to Pickle Lake tomorrow, which is going to be insane because that is literally the farthest north you can drive in Ontario. Basically a little community connected to a highway beyond that is pretty much just like dirt roads and stuff. I don't really know what to expect. Uh, honestly, I've been kind of hearing some things. Um, this could be quite dangerous. I don't know. Um, I've just been hearing some things about the drive up there. Uh, apparently, people like to attack people there, rob people. What they'll apparently do is lie in the middle of the road in order to get you to stop your car. I mean, you are in the middle of nowhere, so no one's really going to be paying attention to what's going on. Um, but yeah, they'll do that and apparently beat you up, I guess, steal all your stuff. I don't really know. Also, I felt like I just, like the whole bed just moved for a second there. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're dealing with on the rest of this adventure. And then I do believe that I'm going to be doing a couple more haunted locations after this one. I'm going to try and squeeze in one to two, maybe even three more before we get back home. Um, but there's definitely going to be more vlogs. Uh, probably going to make a main channel video of the rest of this, you know, basically travel to <laughs> Pickle Lake, which... Is gonna be crazy. Um, we're already pretty far north. Like I'm probably about 13 hours from home right now, give or take. Um, we got eight hours more to go, which will leave us at about 21.5 hours away. And we're only still in the same province. But anyway, so what we're gonna be doing here on the second floor for the last little bit is um, I want to try out my spirit box up here. I want to see if we can get some more responses. We've been getting a lot of really, really good stuff tonight. Like I said, there was one thing that kind of came through that was a little bit spooky. Um, that kind of scared me because it does seem like something may potentially be following me. I don't really know. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Um, but yeah, so far this place is really cool. It's, uh, it's quirky. It's got a lot of character. The people here are amazing. Um, very welcoming. For a second it sounded like somebody was walking in the hallway. Um, but there shouldn't be anybody walking in the hallway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, alright, let's grab our equipment and, uh, get this started. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two things. I'm gonna use the Spirit Talker, as well as the, uh, Direct Link. And, uh, hopefully we can directly link to something on the other side. All right, spirits of the hotel. We're enjoying this. Well, that's fantastic. That's what I like to hear. <clears throat> Which aspect are you enjoying the most? Are you enjoying communicating with me? Do you like communicating with people in the, uh, the current world? I guess we'll call it current time frame, current wavelength. <laughs> Is there anybody up here on the second floor with me? That was something. I didn't even press the antenna. So the way that this works is you essentially ask questions and then you cover the antenna like that. And it essentially... Do we? Huh. 
That one I... Go away or awake? My name is Edward. Huh, we're getting something. I'm not even asking questions. Let's, let's just listen for a second. He's in the attic. He's in the attic. Oh my god. Who's in the attic? May I? May I? Yes, you may. You may communicate with me. You could use children. Chosen or children? So, this box right here you can use to communicate with me. You can pick words and tell me what you want to say. Tell me your story. We got 15. And my name is Edward. That's the second time we got Edward. Edward. Edward, are you here? It's funny how we're getting that fart noise again. Did you say bastard? <laughs> Did you say best or bastard? <laughs> okay, so remember at the cabin recently, it was making those like... Ask? It was making those like farting noises? But it was continuously doing it, which is clearly not a normal thing. Alright, talk to Let me. Let us rest. Hey. Okay, give... Do you mind if I have about ten minutes of your time? They found my body. They found my body. Who found your body? Go. Go. Something's trying to come through. Can you tell me your name? No? Are there any children here? So it just died out. Okay, that might have just been me. I might have shifted a little too hard and the bed frame hit the wall. Are you in this room or on this floor at the very least? Can you tell me which room you're in? Two? We are on f we are on floor two, but I need a more specific answer. Energy. Energy. Do you need more energy to communicate? Whoa. All right, how about we try this? Why don't you make a Dark entity here. Dark entity here. I don't like that. What kind of dark entity would be here? Is it whatever's following me? There's no known stories of dark entities here, so... Patience. That was something. How about we try... How about we try this? Make a noise in the room to let me know that you're here. He's coming. Who's coming?
All right, now I'm getting a little nervous. Somebody outside the door. There's no one there. Okay. <laughs> See if we hear anything else. We were getting a lot of responses on this. I'm very friendly. Me too. We're on the same page. Let's be friends. Tell me whatever it is that you want. Anything at all. Girl. What, a, what about a girl? For some reason when I crank this thing it just goes bonkers. I don't know why. There's something trying to come through. What is making this thing make that noise? I got something. Why does it do that? What the hell did that just say? Okay. Again, tell me anything you want to tell me. I don't like that. Go. Anything else? I don't know what these responses are. Alrighty, um... So, this place was cool. <laughs> Definitely one of my new favorites, like I mentioned. Um, honestly, the hospitality here has been fantastic. Thank you to everybody here. I know you guys are probably going to watch this video. Um, really appreciate it, and I will definitely be back Fortune. in the near future. Um, yeah, so far as the uh, for the investigation, I'd say this was pretty good. We got some good results. I'm uh, content. We got some nice answers. This place makes a lot of sounds. A lot of sounds that I couldn't explain. Some that were like, I don't know, maybe there was an animal up in the attic. It's kind of strange how that thing said he's and then in the attic afterwards. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this off. I'm definitely going to get some sleep because I am absolutely exhausted. Um, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new and you like this sort of content. Let me know where else you guys might want me to go. I'm going to be mixing it up with doing a, a lot of different travel, adventure, probably throwing in some abandoned in there again, some haunted. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Randonautica for the time being. I may do the odd one or two here and there, um, but some point in the mid-February we'll, we'll see what we end up doing with that as well. I'm not saying I'm not going to do any of it at all. Uh, I just kind of want to mix it up. I want to do something a little bit different and uh, have some fun with this. So, yeah. Again, smash like button, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.